to the, the home opener in Belmont and uh, maybe some nervous moments, which I think you've come to expect with a younger team, but you guys pull out a good win for the squad. Yeah, we, we dominated uh, the most of the game, especially in the first half, and, and uh, we gave up a, get, a goal, the first goal, unfortunately, uh, but responded very, very well to it. Uh, our guys did a great job of uh, coming back and creating pressure and, and good chances and ended up getting three very good goals. Sure. We fast forward to a match at St. Louis, and, and you know that was going to be a good test, and unfortunately you guys come out on the losing end of that one. Yeah, you know, it was a game that um, I thought in the first half we were a little bit sluggish, a little bit flat. Um, we ended up, um, ended up uh, defending more than we wanted. In the second half was when we played actually very well. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we gave up a goal on a counter yeah. and uh, didn't get one ourselves. But it was a good game for us, a lot of learning uh, moments in the game, a lot of lessons, and I thought we grew tremendously from it. No question. You talked about kind of clearing the, 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 the old growth to let the saplings grow through. How do you feel about your progress as you've gotten to this point of the season for the younger players? The, the progress has been good for two reasons. One, we're still trying to find where the best spots for guys are. Yeah. Um, and we've tweaked that since the first game of the season against Maryland. Um, right now, I think we found a, a bit of a rhythm and found uh, the best spots for the guys, and now it's finding finding the rhythm and, and tweaking it, you know, making it better all the time. Um, their growth now has been accelerated because of that. I think we're kind of settled in a little bit, and um, the last few games have shown that. Cards returned home to take on Army. Uh, you know, they're always going to be disciplined. They're always going to be well-conditioned. They're always going to be well-coached, and, and they certainly give you fight. But you guys played real impressively in a 3-0 win. We did. Um, you know, it could have been more, uh, but their goalkeeper had a very good game, made some big saves, and I think the most important thing was the, the pressure was good, our, um, our possession created a lot of chances, and uh, we didn't panic. We, uh, I think it was in the 70th minute before we had our first goal and, and could have had some before that, but we didn't panic. We stayed with it and uh, got three very good goals at the end of the game. And we continue with that that late theme as the team kind of had a knack for it last year. Maybe that's carried on. A great matchup, two nationally ranked teams as Wake Forest came into town, the Cardinal Park, and you guys get ahead 2-0. They find a way to get scrap back and get two more. Overtime goes scoreless, and then in the second overtime, Ryan Smith finds a way to get a, an emotional game winner. Yeah, our, our pressure was tremendous in the first half. We uh, created so many good chances off of our pressure. Um, could have been up uh, at least three, uh, maybe even four in the first half, and um, but Wake Forest is a reason why they're ranked, and uh, they're a very good team. We've heard, we knew they were going to be good coming in, and um, and they carried a little bit of the game in the in the beginning of the second half, and um, got a goal which changed the complexion of the game, gave them a little bit of momentum, and uh, ended up getting the second off a corner. But I give our guys a ton of credit because it would have been easy to fold at that point, and uh, it was a character building moment for our guys, and I know something that we'll build on and. Uh, to get the win in a tough game like that at home, I think was tremendous for our guys. I know the teams continue to have great crowds at Cardinal Park, and uh, there's no doubt that will continue this week. The Cards on Friday will be hosting Kentucky. It's a match that we'll have on TV on WHAS. And uh, as a coach, do you find yourself uh, more managing the emotion than uh, than getting the team excited for a match when it's a rivalry game like this one? Well, right now, you know, the focus is recovery. We only have two days in sure. between and an overtime game. The guys know what's coming. I mean, they, they know that's a big game and an emotional game. More than anything else, we're trying to just, re, you know, refine things and fine-tune things and, and make sure that what we do well, we continue to do well. Um, so we know it's Kentucky. We know it's emotional. But uh, more importantly, it's a, it's a chance for us to continue to grow and get better. And, and games like this are wonderful because, they you know, they have a tournament atmosphere yeah. game. and regardless of what the talent level on each team is, it, it's sure. an emotional game, and it raises the, the stakes because of that. And from that standpoint, that's where, you know, growth happens the best. Um, you know, that, that adversity, that those challenges that you have, it makes the celebration, you know, that much more when you're, when you're successful. No question. We focus ahead then on Tuesday. You guys will match up with Ohio State. And uh, 
the challenges don't end. I mean, you continue to play quality teams early in the season. Yeah, Ohio State, another Big Ten team, very good team, and uh, we expect them to come in and be a, a good opponent. And, uh, you know, the reason why we play the schedule we do is to prepare us for the end of the season, the postseason. And um, Ohio State will be another good team and good contest to push us along. For All sure. right. Best of luck. Safe travel to you and the team, Ken. Thank you so much, Sean. For Ken Lola, I'm Sean Moth. Great to have you along. We'll talk next week. Right. Thank you.